Well, the word is commonly associated with college athletics. An athlete is red-shirted when they are held out of their sport for a year, allowing them to grow and perform at a higher level by gaining an extra year to compete. Well, now it's become a trend with our children. A new door has opened for our kids and their parents. It's called red shirting. Red shirting, which is the moving the child, you know, keeping the child back so that they're older than their peer group, has tripled since the 1970s in this country. Hello, this is Dr. Whitebond. Dr. Jennifer Whitebond, a Mount Pleasant based psychologist, has worked with kids for the past 25 years. The question is what kind of balance do we have in this country on the actual value added? that we're given to our children when we move them ahead. If it's to enjoy the bright lights of athletic stardom, parents should be realistic. The final score is difficult to predict in the middle of the game. I would be very hard as a recruiter, and I don't think you could find one that would say, yeah, let me put my name on that sixth grader. There's just so many factors going to development. Hey, Cole. Stuart Lake played college baseball, has coached and recruited on that level for the past 18 years. The past four as the head baseball coach at CSU. You better be looking at other factors in the athletics. Parents have to trust their gut and not just how do I give Johnny a leg up on the competition, but am I doing this for all the right reasons? Jamal President was held back his sixth grade year. Admittedly, his focus was on everything but school. That year of being held back allowed me to mature in the summer and then um, attack the, the, the social wars of being a teenager. Um, I lost uh, also with the academic strengths of, of, of school. <laughs> It also set the stage for an athletic career, from Burke High School to the College of Charleston. Jamel is convinced without that extra year, he would have never found himself on top. From a behavior standpoint, I didn't want it to really act out because I wasn't competing with, him, with anybody. I think with me being older, I wanted to show my maturation for the group. So that allowed me athletically, socially, um, and academically to, um, to stay focused. Dave Spurlock has focused on sports for the past 40 years. He spent countless Friday nights coaching on low country sidelines and is now Charleston County's athletic director. He says redshirting kids on the high school level is just not possible. You would have to have counselors, principals, teachers, and, and that type of thing is, is just not happening in, in Charleston County. Because one of the things that we're trying to do is to get them to graduate, not hold them back. An empty field of dreams can strike at a child's development, but by holding them back a year, giving them that year to grow in so many different ways, according to Dr. Whitebond, could provide a home run in the areas that really matter. The concern is, are we teaching those really core values that we pay a lot of lip service to in our children so that there's a balance to success, and competition and being the best. But the best in what? Is it the best all round? Because I think all of us, most parents, want a child who is equally as, as astute and, and has equal ability in being a good human being as being a good ball player. Now, research does show if a child is to be held back, the ideal time is kindergarten or first grade. Jamel President does have a foundation which helps student athletes find the best fit for the next level, wherever that may be. You can find him at daefoundation.org. Victoria?